Shout out to my boy, Spirit Springer, not Jerry Springer. Spirit Springer, man, yo, man, big souls, nigga, young Draco, nigga, it's up here, G Hood Frank, nigga. Wow. Gang, gang. Spirit Springer, we talked to the gang. Appreciate you, boy. Spirit Springer, bitch. Gang shit. Gang shit, y'all know the fuck going on for my ass, bitch. Motherfucking spirits, nigga. Yes, nigga. My shit beating us, nigga. Nah, no, like this shit is God. Like, I didn't really have it planned at first. I was just playing around. Yeah. Trials and errors, seeing what worked, seeing what didn't work. Mm -hmm. Like, that shit didn't work. You know, the Instagram came along, start uploading news to Instagram. And the rest was history. Is that just on, as me as a person behind the scenes? Would you say that to rappers and shit too? So I said that to anybody who wants to be something that wants support. You gotta make people feel left out, cause when people feel like they have you figured out, and they feel like they know your every move, uh -huh. they don't really respect you. You know, like it's kind of like the new girl. <laughs> like you can have five bad excuses. You can have five um, attractive women in your classroom, but when a new girl come in the classroom. Everybody's gonna look at her because she's new. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it was just like one of the things to where when you see somebody every day, you don't really respect where they, you don't really respect them. Like you don't appreciate them. I'm not gonna say respect, but you don't appreciate people that you see every day because you see them every day. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so you just kind of gotta like let people thirst over you or <laughs> let just become a mystery to people. Like, that's how you really get real support. Like, I used to tell Cash Pay, she used to be at all the kickbacks. Like, why are you at the kickbacks? If I could see you at the kickback for free, why would I come see you at your show? Wow. So it was like, you just kind of got to, like, be out of out of sight, out of, not out of mind, but just, you just got to, like, just can't know your, your whereabouts. But I feel like, for me, personally, something that helped me out is that, that people do respect me for is, I pop up like niggas see me at studios, see me yeah. see me at shows, niggas see me out like in different yeah. places. I mean, yeah, that's cool. How like so you saying that you don't even have to? Be I'm busy. not saying nobody can ever see you. I'm just saying like when people just start seeing you every day and uh -huh. then they start knowing how you work your business or just little things. They know how you operate. They try to take advantage of that stuff. They just don't. They don't appreciate that. Like so, it's just like. Just kind of like gotta just fall back, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You um, I was talking to somebody that was at that, that did some photography at that uh, what's it called? Buy back the block or some the, the the thing that you did with Nipsey? Yeah. Did you ever talk to Nipsey? Uh, I I've spoken to him before then, but at that event I had left because a lot of people was in his face and stuff like that. So. Where? I don't really like to play the the, you know that role. I just try to like to. But y'all, I talked to Nipsey a few times before then. We booked Nipsey out here like three times for like three shows. Oh, where? Right. So yeah, we done real business with Nipsey, but but nah, I didn't talk to him that night. Man, so you, you used to do shows too? Yeah, we used to do shows. Oh, shit, we brought Chief Keef out here in 2015. Which one? The where, one at the Gas Monkey Live. I was at that home. Yeah, we made like 30 bands that night. You already know who it is, man. We on Spray Springer Live, man. One of the greatest to ever do this shit in the DFW, man. You already know what's going on. Hey, man. That's that nigga, man. 